We're in the Bengals locker room with Mike Thomas. Uh, Mike, how's training camp treating you so far? It's your third training camp here in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going smooth. Uh, just pretty much just taking it one day at a time. Uh, just making sure that I'm on top of the details nowadays. Um, yeah, just taking it everything at a time, one day at a time, keeping everything smooth, you know what I'm saying, not trying to make it more harder than what it really is. Obviously, you're comfortable in the system. Mm -hmm. How much of these young guys look to you, uh, it, it, not just Jamar and T, who are obviously young guys, but even these undrafted free agents, Kwame, obviously we saw Kendrick the other night have a good game. I'm sure they look to you because you've been in the system for quite some time. Mm -hmm. uh, and they always come to me with questions, so anything they really need help with about the details, the little details of everything, I'm willing to help. Uh, and they're doing a good job with that. As you can see in the game, it wasn't no MAs. But as we review film, it wasn't no like, MAs, missing assignments mm -hmm. from the you know, from the young guys. They was, they was on top of their assignments, uh, whether it's rap, uh, depth of the route or like where you line up at. So all that was pretty, pretty impressive to see that with no MAs. Because last year, it was a lot of rookies that had MAs. And they're doing a good job with that. How much do you enjoy your role? Because obviously, you're a receiver and you're <laughs> In, involved in the offense, but you're also doing a lot of stuff on special teams mm -hmm. as well. There's a variety. I mean, I enjoy it. I, I have a passion for special teams itself, so me doing everything on special teams, whether it's two phases or all four phases, I'm going to make sure I'm doing that with, with the most effort I can. So it's like have a, you have to have a passion for special teams because if you, after the third receiver, or if you're the fourth, fifth receiver, you got to play special teams and you have to you have to build a knack for that. You have to build a passion and the love for that. So that's just always been my part of the game ever since I came here from the Rams too. So just I just take special teams seriously. You've been a part of some really, really good offenses here and then mm -hmm. along with your, also with your time with the Rams, mm -hmm. looking at this team on paper, especially now that, that Joe's back and, and practicing, mm -hmm. how good can this offense be? Oh, sky's the limit, honestly. Uh, we. This office can always be at Super Bowls, always at AFC championships, and we have the we have the the guys to do it. Um, like I said, sky's the limit, man. As long as we take it one week at a time and be on like ex <laughs> be exclusive to our details, man, we can be one of the top offenses in the league. Number one, honestly. What's it like going against Eli in practice since he just <laughs> made that comment about the camera? <laughs> uh, I mean, Eli is a great uh, DB. Um, you can learn a lot from him because uh, he plays in, a, in a, a different type of technique than everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, he might jam you. He might scooch back. You never know. But you can always get better with Eli. You never know because, he, I mean, he's an elite, elite corner, so you got to respect that. And you can just learn from as far as, like, one-on-ones, a different type of how he how he'll play you as far as leverage. How good is this secondary? Because you guys get to face him all the time. I think Cheeto is one of the more underrated cornerbacks in the league. Uh, Jesse isn't here yet. Mm -hmm. Obviously will be. You got Dax Hill in the mix now. I mean, there's a lot of guys. I can't name everyone. But how good is this secondary? I feel like our secondary is, is elite as well. Um, we getting better every day with them, whether it's 101, 707. Uh, like you said, Cheeto, Eli, you got Trey, too. Uh, Von Bell, of course. And like you said, Jesse and Young Dax doing this thing. Like you seen in the first preseason game, he almost had an interception. And he was like really on every deep ball that was thrown deep to his way. So it's elite, man. Like I said, everybody getting better with each other uh, as far as DBs going against receivers. Like I said, whether it's one on one, seven on seven, even blocking too, because they really trying to get to the ball. We got to make sure they they not getting to the ball. So we just making each other better, sharpening each other's sword, and that's what that's what we really need to be an elite team, number one team. This is my first one-on-one -on -one with you, mm -hmm. but we have something in common, mm -hmm. and, and we talked about it already, but Chad Johnson, who's your mm -hmm. favorite player going oh, yeah. up, oh, and, yeah. and he was mine. So for, for all of our, the Bengals fans out mm -hmm. there, why was Chad your favorite player? Um, I feel like he brought a lot of I'm see me, I'm the person that I like to laugh. I like to be entertained while I'm doing something. I don't wanna be like super serious while I'm doing it. <laughs> and I feel like he brought that out. Like he brought the whole entertainment of, of playing receiver, of, of making people laugh in the locker room, just being silly in a sense, but also still being elite at the same time. Um, like I said, when I first seen the the, the hard knife Bengals <laughs> that just really stole it, stole my, my whole heart. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's who I want to be like. That's that's who I want to play my game, like making everybody in the uh, locker room laugh, uh, being just an entertainer at the, at the end of the day, but also being an elite receiver. So it's like it's like you have to, like, balance both of those, you know what I'm saying? So that's what made me want to play, man. Um, hey, we all know Chad Jones is funny, so it's like he's just a funny guy, man. Yeah. He just 
I don't know, he really got me playing like playing football, so I have to respect that. But other than that, other than just being a elite receiver, I think it's more so that the entertainment, just making making people laugh, just doing silly stuff on the field. What uh what have your interactions been like with him over the years? Um, I think I had an interaction with him I wanna say two times. One time when I was on the Rams and we had like a uh I wanna say a Thursday night game against Cleveland, he was there. Mm -hmm. Um and the second one I wanna say I think I, I can't remember the second one. Uh, I think it was just a what up, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. the first encounter, I did tell him, man, I want to thank you, bro, for inspiring a, a Chicago kid to play, to even play this game, man. He said, thank you, man. He was like, he was surprised. He, he couldn't really, he was surprised. He had a, like a, a surprise look on his face. Yeah. And I'm sure he did, because he didn't expect that either. So it's like, I just wanted to tell him that. I just wanted to thank him, man. You, you inspired me to play this game, man. He was, he was surprised, but he was honored in a sense, too. So you mentioned entertainment being funny. Mm -hmm. Who's the funniest teammate or who's the funniest guy in this locker room? The funniest guy? <laughs> You're included if you, if you want to give yourself that crown. The funniest guy. Ah. Uh, it's, 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 it's like between three guys. I want to say T. Will is funny, T. Tyler Boyd is funny. Um, and the third one is either Stanley Morgan. I don't know. I can't really, I can't really explain because the guys really don't, they try to be in a, in a shell, but you know, I'll be trying to like have guys be more funny around this joint. So <laughs> Off top, I got Tyler Boyd and T. Will. They they the most funniest. They they'll bring a lot of laughs out of you for sure. Last thing from me, you, you could certainly slide into that wide receiver four spot mm -hmm. on offense this year. Could mean some some touchdowns. And I know you've scored with the Bengals, but could mean some touchdowns this season. Mm -hmm. Do you have any patented Ocho Cinco touchdown dances planned yet? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, not off top. Probably the probably the river dance. I probably try that. Okay. For the most part, but. I feel like everything he did as far as touchdown celebrations was just off the top of his head. Whatever came to him, he he just did it. Uh, whether it was the uh, was the, uh, what he was playing golf with the yeah with the, he was tiger yeah, yeah with the fist pump exactly. Yeah. So it's like I don't know. I mean, off top, I can just think of the river dance. That was pretty pretty known from him. But it's just you never know. Like I <laughs> I'll try to take that, but off the top of my head, it's like I probably end up doing my own celebration. You know what I'm saying? Making it funny. You know what I'm saying? Well, we look forward to seeing it, Mike. Uh, I appreciate the time. This has been a lot of fun. Good luck with the rest of camp. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you.